Hello folks, this is 2022, May, June, paper 13, and the question number is 6. As you can see from the diagram, this question is concerned uh, is of the chapter kinematics and uh, uh, it is concerned with the uh, projectiles. See here. It says uh, two projectiles X and Y are fired into the air from the same place on level ground, level ground, and they reach the same maximum height. So this height is same for both of them. So this is uh, let us say h1 equal to h2 let us say h1 equal to h2 this is 1 and this is 2 let us say projectile x is fired vertically upward and projectile y is fired at an angle to the horizontal so this is vertically upward x and this is at angle so this is the angle let us say it is theta air resistance is negligible so let us uh, uh, let us uh, not be uh, confused about the words it says into the air it means uh, to the space it says above the ground it says so air resistance is negligible here which statement is correct is correct so we have to uh, explore which statement is correct the first one let us see x and y are at rest at their maximum heights let us see so this thing goes here comes to rest and then comes back so x will be at rest at the highest point but in case of y what happens is when it is moving like this at the highest point at the highest point the vertical velocity is zero but the horizontal is, is still there the horizontal velocity is still there which we often call as a vh so this does not come to rest here velocity might decrease but uh, overall velocity might be less but uh, it does not come to rest so that's why so the first one is incorrect second x and y are fired with the same speed so if height is same it says that they are fired with the same speed let us see for this thing the velocity will be equal to let us say if i say this is v if i say v is the launching velocity what we have here is at the highest point we have got uh, the displacement is equal at the highest point uh, displacement is equal to displacement is equal to is equal to which we call as s is equal to h uh, acceleration is equal to minus g because the velocity is decreasing and uh, the initial velocity u is equal to let us say it is v uh, v and uh, the final velocity is equal to zero so since i have uh, said this as v the initial velocity is v the final velocity is zero so what i have now is the equation is s equal to v square minus u square by twice a or we will have h is equal to zero square minus v square by 2 minus g which gives us uh, which gives us minus 2 g h is equal to minus v square minus minus is gone so it will we will have v equal to root twice g h so the velocity of launching was v equal to root twice g h it is for the first one for x this is for x now let's go for y so y for y what we have is uh, what we have for y is uh, <clears throat> the max height h the max height h is equal to v square sine square theta by 2g the, this is the formula for the maximum height so this gives us or 2g h by sine square theta is equal to v square and this gives us v is equal to root of twice g h divided sine of theta so v equal to root of twice is by sine theta so because of this sine factor because of this sine factor this v and this v they are not equal they are not equal so that's why x and y are five the same speed this is also untrue not true now let's go for the time so if we calculate the time required for this thing here the time required to go to the top will be equal to a equal to minus z v u equal to v uh, v equal to 0 here so the time should be equal to we have a yes equal to v t minus 1 by 2 a t squared we have we have yes equal to u t plus half a t squared and we also have yes equal to v t minus 1 by 2 a t squared so this v here is 0 this final velocity here is 0 so that's why h equal to 0 minus 1 by 2 minus g t u squared u means time for upward flight so this gives us this gives us h equal to 1 by 2 g t u squared 
So du will be equal to square equal to 2h by z. This gives us du is equal to root of twice h by z. So the time for upward flight is root twice h by z. So the total time means up and down time should be equal to twice of du. Since we have got a no air resistance here, the time for upward and downward flight should be equal. So that's equal to 2 root twice h by z. So this time is for this thing. Now for this projectile, the time is given by t is equal to equal to uh, uh, t is equal to 2u sine theta by z. Sorry, 2v sine theta by z. And h is equal to, so let us say, or I'll do it as v sine theta is equal to g t by 2. We also have h equal to v square sine square theta by by uh, 2z so equal to 1 by 2z it is a v sine theta whole squared equal to 1 by 2z it is gt by 2 whole squared that's equal to g square t square by 2g into into 4 into 4 this gives us this gives us g g cancel so it is uh, g t square by 2 into 4 so this gives us this gives us what we have now is um, so now or we have 2 into 4 4 uh, h by z is equal to t square so or t is equal to is equal to equal to uh, t is equal to 4 into 2 h by z root equal to 2 into 2 h by z so the time is equal to uh, time is equal to 2 into 2 root 2 h by z and here also we have time is equal to is equal to 2 into 2 h by z root 2 h by z so that's why the time in both cases are same so this thing should be the correct answer. Now look at the other one. X and Y travel the same distance. Let us see. It travels this and this. It is H plus H twice H. Twice H. But here what happens is, this is H and H. But when it travels like this, this distance is definitely more than this. This distance is definitely more than this. So that's why more distance, more distance. So this thing will be traveling more distance. This thing will be traveling short distance. So that's why same distance is incorrect. So the correct choice is choice number C only.